Now that the darts are sewn, it is time to put the elastic into the casing and finish the edge of the seam allowance. In your kit, you have an 11 inch long piece of 3 quarter inch wide elastic. Find the elastic and two medium safety pins. Attach one safety pin to one short end of the elastic and close it. Place the other safety pin on the other end. Safety pin the elastic to the inner pocket just below the casing. Use the other safety pin to guide the elastic into the casing. Push the fabric of the casing onto the safety pin, hold the front of the safety pin, and push the fabric off it towards the back, pushing the elastic into the casing. Repeat this process until you reach the other end of the casing. The fabric will gather and bunch up around the shorter elastic. Pull until the end of the elastic is even with the fabric edge. Remove the safety pin and pin the end of the elastic in place. Do the same with the other safety pin. Now stitch the elastic in place. With the sewing machine set to a stitch width of zero and a stitch length of three, stitch halfway between the edge and the thread tracing stitch line from the bottom of the elastic casing to the top. Back stitch at the beginning and end. Remember to clip your threads and repeat on the other side. This should prevent the elastic from coming out of the casing. Now the seam allowance of the sides and bottom of the pocket should be finished. A zigzag stitch a quarter inch from the edge will help prevent the fabric from fraying too far and weakening the pocket. Set the sewing machine to a stitch width of three and a stitch length of three. Place the seam allowance of the inner pocket under the presser foot. Line up the edge of the presser foot with the edge of the seam allowance. Use the presser foot as a guide to sew a quarter inch in. Put the presser foot down, hold the threads, and stitch two to three stitches. Backstitch two to three stitches, then continue forward following the edge of the fabric. When you reach the darts, be sure that the darts are facing towards the center of the pocket and are lying flat. Stitch over the darts. Some of the seam allowance of the dart will be caught. It is more important to keep the dart lying flat than to line up the two seam allowance edges. Continue stitching until you reach the top of the other side of the pocket. Stitch until you reach the top. Backstitch two to three stitches. Stitch to the top. Check that the needle is up. Lift the presser foot. Remove the work and trim your threads. Now you are done with the inner pocket. Set it aside until you are ready to attach it 